The GM 2.2 liter engine is used throughout the GM platform as you can see. They incorporate a bottom feed injector. Due to the design of the fuel system, several service issues have developed that you need to be aware of. In the next couple of minutes, we will examine some of these important issues. The 2.2 liter engine injectors are designed to deliver a 20 degree cone spray pattern into the intake port. The system is also designed to flow at a rate of 2.8 grams per second. As we take a look at this low test, we set this system up running at 2500 RPM, which is approximately 70 miles per hour. As you can see, each injector was within 2 milliliters after one minute of operation. Let's take a look at some important service issues. Because these are bottom feed injectors, it is critical that the O-ring seals are installed correctly. The seals should be lubricated with engine oil and the injector needs to be seated firmly. If the seal is torn or nicked, catastrophic engine damage can occur. This demonstration shows how much fuel can flow by a slight nick in the bottom of the O-ring seal. It would only take a few seconds to damage the engine under these conditions. In the next scene, we are demonstrating what happens if the seal is cut or missing. The cylinder will fill with fuel, causing it to hydrolock. Connecting rods have also been known to break during the initial crank up with a flooded cylinder. Correct installation of these injectors is essential and the process must be followed exactly in order to prevent major engine damage. Before installing the new injectors, make sure that the old O-rings are not stuck in the bottom of the fuel rail. Number one, lubricate the injector rail and seals with clean engine oil. Do not use silicone lube as it can also damage the oxygen sensors. The next step is to align each injector in the fuel rail and then apply a single downward blow to each injector. You will hear a comforting pop as the injector seats correctly. A hammer handle and your hand is all that's necessary to complete the installation. Next, install the retainer and plug the harness connectors into each injector. Finally, charge the fuel rail with pressure and make sure that there is no leak down before cranking the engine over. If the fuel pressure drops and a leak is present, you must remove all of the spark plugs, disable the ignition, and crank the engine over to remove all excess fuel from the cylinders. As you have just seen, it is not a difficult job. It simply requires adhering to a set of procedures to guarantee the integrity of the fuel delivery system. Thanks for your attention.